to all of my peanut butter fans out there, we're here. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Love Always Indoors. I hope everything is well with you all. It has definitely been two weeks since we've seen each other or since you've seen me. Um, I've been traveling and tired and exhausted and so yeah, my apologies, but I was in Tampa and Atlanta and just all over the place and it's good to be home and settled again and back here so that I can YouTube for you all. So anyway, today's video is going to be about eyebrows. So I want to give you all a quick disclaimer. First off, I'm not a pro at eyebrows. I repeat, I am not a pro at eyebrows. Why do I feel like I need to accentuate that? Well, my eyebrows are 50-50 chance. They're hit or miss most of the time. My eyebrows are crazy, first of all. When they get a certain length, they get absolutely unruly. I will show you a picture. Secondly, I'm just not good at eyebrows. I really am not. So I'm gonna try my best to do my everyday brows for you all. I've learned that brows are very um, unique to every individual. I know a lot of people with brows that I consider very interesting or unfitting but it's what they like and if that's the case you like it I love it because you know what my brows might seem interesting or unfitting to someone else you know what I mean so with that being said let's go ahead and get into this tutorial sorry one more thing <laughs> first of all I want to tell you kind of give you my like eyebrow regimen okay so I try to go with a light hand on my daily everyday brows. And then I make them a little darker, possibly a little thicker, depending on my makeup look if I'm going out and I have makeup on, okay? But my everyday thing, after I cleanse my face and do my full routine, y'all saw the video, I'll post it below. But when I do all of that and I moisturize, that's the last step, then I go back and I do my brows. So at night, though, um, after I've cleansed my face, I go in with this. This is a little um, empty mascara vial that I got from eBay for a dollar. And I filled it up with two things. I filled it up with castor oil, which you can barely see because the label is so oily, and wild growth oil. So if you notice in here, you'll see why is my castor oil got that orange at the bottom. That's because the wild growth oil coagulates and sits at the bottom. So I think I've learned that I probably won't be mixing them again. They need to stay separate. This is what I use. I used to use it on my lashes too, because sometimes you lose the little soldier, you know, when you take your eyelashes off after you put on, glued on your eyelashes. So yeah, but right now I'm just working on an eyebrow regimen because I really do need them to thicken up. Um, I get my eyebrows threaded as needed. Uh, I don't have a specific amount of time that I go, but I usually like them to get really, really full and really long and curly uh, before I go and get them done again. Okay, so this goes on before bed. When I wake up, it's not there. I don't know. <laughs> It's probably in my pillowcase. And when I'm doing my brows, if my brows are super long and curly, then this little guy is amazing. It's the e.l.f. Um, eye wax, eyebrow, eye, ooh, eye wax. It's the e.l.f. eyebrow wax pencil. This thing is amazing. I have another one from Wet n Wild that I'm not happy with. Um, it melts too easily. It goes on like cocoa butter or, or coconut butter, coconut oil is what I'm trying to say. It goes on like coconut oil. And so it's too loose, it doesn't hold it. This actually goes on like a wax. Like this does grab the hairs and make them stay put because they do their own thing. So this is the, um, the brow pencil that I use. It's the e.l.f. brow pencil in the color dark brown, right? Neutral brown, just kidding. And here is what it looks like and it's retractable. I won't it retract? Sometimes I have to go down and then back up. Is that weird? Just so you know, you might have retraction issues. Okay, it's really not working. Oh, there we go. Oh, went up a little bit. Maybe I'm at the end of it. <laughs> I need to go on the blooper reel because it's, oh, oh, well, now it wants to, wow. Yeah, you might have retraction issues with this little guy. Come on. Mm. Okay, well. It also comes with a brush. I lost the, the cap to the brush. It was a clear, clear cap. 
um, but yeah this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna go in like I said as light-handed as possible I really like that ombre brow look lighter in the front towards the ends it gets darker and I also have a specific shape that I like and right now because my brows are thinner towards the back side I can't achieve that shape without filling them in so I'm gonna come closer to the camera and show y'all how I do this why hello okay let me ooh, ooh, make some adjustments oh wow that's my face I want my brows here we go okay so you can kind of see what we're working with right now um, this is my brow after I've washed my face. So you'll see like there's thinner areas up here that I've been working on. And ladies, y'all know how the struggle is for eyebrows and how they thin. But when they get combed up, upward, you can't really see them. So that's how she, um, she tweezed them. I mean, threaded them when I got them done. Um, so yeah, so if you look and you'll see like the the um, area of my brow that is really more of a struggle for me is the um, tail part and then there's like a little gap in there there's some gaps in there so I'm gonna do my best y'all I'm gonna just show you how I do it okay it might not be how you like so normally what I try to do is I try to come in and like make short hair like strokes okay and like if there's like a little gap in there I'll come in here like this and then I make sure I continue to comb upwards and outwards so that filled that in a little bit um, there's still areas of hair that get really like thick and then they look really dark, like right in here. And she could have come a little lower, to be honest. I, I saved this tutorial for when my eyebrows were done, just so y'all know. But this is just my everyday brow, like I said. It's nothing too bold. Um, and then I come in around here, I have to raise my eyebrows because of my glasses. And then I draw them in like this. Okay, so same thing. And then, then this is what I usually do for my shape, right? Because I have a like a, a shape that I'm trying to achieve. This eyebrow does a lot better. This is my favorite brow. It does a better job at achieving that shape than this one. This one is kind of a square, and this one's kind of a circle. I don't know if you can tell, but just keep in mind, brows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, so they don't have to be identical. So honestly, that was a light touch, but that would be my daily brow. Like that right there on that side is how the brow looks so there it is this is the other brow 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 so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one just for effect so y'all can get the full um, the full effect of it Feel free to clean it up a little if you need to. Okay, does that look okay? Who knows? One might be a little darker than the other. It looks okay to me in this mirror. Mind you, my mirror is pink. <laughs> so it's not really giving me an accurate representation of how dark. I'm looking into my mirror, my, my rose gold phone case right now. Okay, so back it on up. So basically this is what my brows look like. I just recently started doing my brows every morning. Before it was not a priority for me and not a big part of my routine. I don't feel like I'm incomplete without my brows done and so as a result sometimes I go without my brows done. Yeah, if I'm if I'm feeling froggy and if I have time, I will do my brows like this for a day. Um, and then like I said at night they may be a little bit more dramatic possibly thicker but that's the tutorial that's what everything looks like I hope this makes sense and that it benefits somebody um, just goes to show there's no standard way to do brows there's more than one ways to skin a cat uh, I shouldn't say that sorry if you like cats there is more than one way <laughs> to do things just keep in mind don't use a black pencil use a dark brown pencil when I get my hair dyed in September I might switch pencil colors to something a little lighter we'll see I might even get my brows bleached. What do y'all think? Do y'all think I should lighten my brows? Is that going to be too much work? Is that something I can do at home? Why is she wagging her tail? I guess she thinks I'm talking to her. But I'm not. I'm talking to YouTube. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's everything. If you have any questions, please post them below in the comment box. And I will do my best to respond to them. Um, if you have any tips, if you are like an eyebrow pro, put your tips down below. I need them. I need those tips. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Peace.